Hey, hey, all right, everybody. How's it going? Now, I got a story by Hugh. I did see it a few days ago, but then on Facebook, the EV guy, you know the EV guy, he's quite funny. Uh, he takes the mick out of the McMaster, but he popped up a little thing. Uh, I'll put it on screen now. And it's about my own mate, not Jeff. Um, so, not Jeff has seen an article... Uh, which is, you know, trying to have a go with EVs. And, he, you know, him and his uh, tribe, his followers, like to have a go with EVs. So he's done this article. He's just read the article, basically. But the trouble is, the problem is, uh, he wants it to be dangerous, right? He wants it to be dangerous, and he hasn't really looked at it. Either he doesn't want to look at it, and analyse it, or he's not intelligent enough to look at it and analyse it. One of them two things. So he's either hiding that he doesn't want to analyse it, and he just wants it to be true, electric cars to be dangerous, or he's not intelligent enough. That's the two choices, okay? So you make up your mind which is which. Um, so I thought I'd look at the story, and I'll, I'll have a look at it, I'll analyse it, and I'll do my best. Now i got to make a stipulation. I'm not an electrician. I do know my way around electrics, but I'm not an electrician. So let's just get that out of the way. This is just my opinion. And I think a lot of people who look at this article could easily pick up on it as well. So what is the article? What's it all about? Let's have a look. So it says the EV charger hack that could burn down your house just got more terrifying. So first of all, Let's set the scene. Hackers have got to have, you know, they've got to get into your charger and hack it. Now, why hackers would want to charge, uh, hack somebody's charger, I don't know, right? But that, that that's the first thing, right? Hackers have got to get into your charger and hack it. Not all chargers can be hacked <laughs> right so it was trend micro researchers found a hack to remotely disable overheating protection in most not all most ev chargers uh so it says by here let's go down to the actual bit where they do the hacking um and when i seen the video straight away i was like well that doesn't look right at all. Um, they've gone to great lengths to overpower the charger. So it's not plugged into a car. Let's, let's, let's make that point first. To make these chargers fail, it wasn't plugged into a car. <laughs> I wonder why it wasn't plugged into a car. I, I, they'll say it's for safety reasons. But if we read a little bit, if we read a bit more... We'll find out what it says, okay? So, I don't want to read it all, because a lot of it is just fluff, okay? Um, it says, when you take these devices apart, they typically have a main CPU that runs the GUI. Uh, sometimes there's a second processor for powering switching measurements. So, a lot of these devices uh, that can contribute to quite a large attack surface. In short, EV chargers aren't currently designed with security in mind. So, you know, nobody wants their EV charger hacked if somebody does want to hack an EV charger. A lot of things can be hacked, but let's get down to the nitty gritty of it all. It says the results as demonstrated in a clip reel of all the tests were nothing short of alarming. <laughs> in every case, the cables overheated. Some spewed flames, including bits of molten copper. Some released flammable gases into the air, when, uh, which then ignited. One melted the cord holder off the wall. Uh, any cable that didn't fail violently still failed by melting, said Anderson. Let's just go back to the start here. That the uh, this is written by Neil J. Reuben King. Uh, so let's go back down to this bit here. Now I'm looking at the video and it did say somewhere by here 
let me just find it, that they had to uh, rig up a device, and I think they used lots of electric heaters joined together to overpower the charger. This is what they did. So it wasn't it wasn't plugged into a car. And if I put up on the screen now, I don't know if you can see. Uh, well, you should be able to see because I put it on the screen. Uh, it's 234.5 volts. And the amperage is 81.1 amps. Now, that's where the first problem comes from. The second problem is, look how tight, look how tightly wound the cable is. I'm looking at the cable by here. Look how tightly wound that cable is. And you can see it's not going into a car. So it's going into a thing right next to it. Right next to it, okay? So the cable is wound as tightly as possible to create as much heat as possible. And the amps are way over what the car would be pulling. Because typically, I've looked up my Nissan Aria with an 87 kilowatt hour battery, and it says typically at 7.2 kilowatts, it's drawing 32 amps, okay? 32 amps. Um, so they've put a significant draw on that cable, much higher. I think I've look, looked it up and it said electric cars ch charge from 20 to 50 amps. They've taken it way past that. Way past that. Now, I, like I said, I'm not an electrician, but I'm sure that the car, which has, because the thing on the wall, they call it an EV charger, but the charger thing is actually in the car. Um, and the charger on the wall is just giving the car the power. The actual EV charger, the 7.2 kilowatt thing, is in the car. So I'm assuming, I could be wrong, <laughs> but no car is going to pull the 81.1 amps that they've got this device pulling on that charger. So first of all, it's got to be hacked. Secondly, your cable has got to be wound as tight as physically possible. Thirdly, you've got to over amp the, the wall charger. You've got to over amp it. You've got to have a, a, a draw on it that's going to over amp it after it's been hacked and the cable is wound tightly. So they've gone to the extremes here <laughs> to prove it's dangerous. Um, now, did not Jeff say any of that what I just said? Of course he didn't. He just blurted out it's dangerous. And then you go into the comment section down below. And all his followers <laughs> are saying the same old stupid rubbish. Um, to me, this seems like a load of old ghoulies. Now, like I said, I'm not an electrician, but to me, this test looks bogus to me because they, they're just going out of their way to try and find ways to make it overheat. Uh, so what do you think? What do you think of that? Um, if there's any electricians in the comments, am I right? Have they purposely rigged this up this way to make it overheat on purpose and it wouldn't happen if it was plugged into a car? Uh, leave your thoughts and comments down below. Uh, but it's the, it's the usual old rubbish. Any article that's against electric cars not Jeff will blurt it out as usual, so but the 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 EV guy pointed me in this direction. So I thought I'd just go and have a look. And I thought I'd share my view on it all. Uh and I'd like to hear your view. So do leave it down in the comments section down below. You can go and look at the article yourself. Um But it did say in the article, it did say somewhere that they, they didn't put it into a car. They put loads of electric heaters on this thing, which is just absurd. It is just, is bananas. I keep looking at the article because I'm trying to find the bit. Uh, I'll put it on the screen. 
I'll put the bit on the screen where they said they linked it up to chargers. So it should be on the screen now. Um, I hope they made that clear. They were trying to deliberately uh, make a charger overheat. It, it was done on purpose. They, they were trying to, like, you know, see if they could hack it and make it overheat with, uh, you know, a bunch of things that really wouldn't happen. But anyway... That is that. This is the end of the video. If you did like this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.